Good morning, everybody. Old Cappy Boy here, and today we got another Beyond Raw Lit, and it's actually been kind of a while since I've had one of these, even though the videos might look like they're coming out in succession, but they're not. It's been a minute since I've revisited our friend uh, GNC's branded of energy drinks. Um, this is a different flavor this time. I hadn't seen it before, but when I was there the other day, there it was. Gummy Worm. We've had Gummy Worm with Rays before, and it was... I mean, the powder was good, and the the can itself was not so good, but got a green, yellow, and red. Kind of looks like a, some color scheme for an African flag. Which one? Um, also could be, like, Lithuania, too, right? They have that color scheme as well, but, you know, it's like that way. Anyway, enough about vexology. Let's talk about caffeine and stuff. Somebody is mowing the lawn outside, so I hope the audio isn't picked up by that, but... I'm sorry, and it's quite loud, and it is 9 in the morning. Uh, built by science, driven by obsession, elevated through innovation. It's our If it's on our labels, then it's in our cans. Get lit, train with focus, intensity, and pumps. Proven ingredients, proven doses, clinical quality, real science, and real results. Yeah, and that's like the same thing, but I feel like it's a little bit easier to read. Maybe they kind of workshopped it a bit. I don't know. We got supplement facts. It's a lot of supplement facts. We're not going to read... All the ingredients and stuff, but, you know, it doesn't have to be evaluated by the FDA if it says supplements, right? Because it says 20 calories, 4 grams, uh, 0 grams of sugar, includes 0 grams of added sugar, uh, 20 milligrams of sodium, 90 milligrams of potassium, and then we got a whole bunch of other energy and mental intensity. I need to be mentally intense today. Uh, carnosine, which is beta alanine, we got 3.2 grams of that. Uh, it has like a total, it says 3.7 grams, so 3.2 of those grams are coming from this beta alanine. Caffeine and hydrose is 250 milligrams, so it's a little bit bigger than, I don't know, some cups of coffee and some other energy drinks, actually. They might just cap out at 200. 150 milligrams of this ancient peat and apple extract. I don't think we covered all these last time, so, I mean... We got citrulline and arginine, we got 3 grams and 1.5 grams. And then, you know, there's other water and sodium benzoate. And there's also food dyes, yellow 5 and blue 1. So, uh, yeah, artificial flavoring. Natural and artificial flavoring. I feel like, I mean, I guess if you keep it cheap, they have to do that. But if they really wanted to go, like, straight up healthy, they should go only natural flavors which it says there, it's not like it's trying to hoodwink you, and some kind of natural food coloring, if, if you really wanted to. Like, I'm sure, like, any bodybuilder worth their salt or whatever isn't really trying to get in these artificial flavorings and stuff. Anyway, and, that, and it's sold at GNC, which is like a vitamin shop kind of thing. We're going to pour it in our glass. <laughs> wow. That is an unnatural green. <laughs> this looks like floor cleaner. I love it. I love it. I love unnaturally colored beverages. They're, they're my favorite thing to look at. Uh, no scent from a few feet away. What is it up close? No real scent up close either. I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of got like a sweet aspect, but it's kind of like if you took a really generic gummy bear and like smelled it like you can kind of smell the sweetness of it but like it's kind of underneath like the fruit pecatin or whatever that's covering it who am i kidding that's probably not fruit pecatin it's probably some kind of plastic anyway let's drink this beyond raw lit gummy worm see how it tastes hmm it's going for more of the green apple flavor. Because you can kind of taste aspects of sourness. But it's not quite there. It's not quite, like, elevated enough to make me wince. Yeah, it's like... It's like, I want to be sour, but I don't want to be too sour. So, people who love sour things are going to be like, this is not sour at all. And people who hate sour things are like, oh, this is my threshold. This is all I can do for sour. And then it kind of turns from, like, a more dominant green apple flavor 
to just like kind of a generic fruit punch. Like I'm kind of tasting like just like a generic fruity taste. It's like it's like a medley of fruit. They could have called this fruit punch, honestly, but then you wouldn't have this really cool green flavor or <laughs> green color, rather. <laughs> it's I don't know. It's just an it's just it's just filling a gap here. It's like I don't know why you would pick this over any of the other like the blue raspberry one was really good. This one just doesn't it's just kind of generic fruity. Let's see if I can get anything else from it. Yeah, it's so interesting how it opens up and it's kind of tart. And then as you let it sit into the aftertaste and all that, it just kind of turns like a chill generic fruit. Because there's, it's kind of like, kind of dynamic in that regard. And I'm using that term kind of loosely, because it's not super sour or anything. It's not like day and night, but it's enough that like, you could see progression. So... I don't know if I'd buy Gummy Worm again, mostly because it just doesn't want to commit to a flavor at once, and it does neither, like, super well. Like, it's it's definitely, like, a passing grade still. Like, I'm not offended by this, and people who buy energy drinks probably won't be offended by it, but on the other downside, it is a little bit watery, too, I think. There's a little bit of a watery nature that's probably kind of hindering how much flavoring it can have. Overall, though, it's all right. I think the Rays did it a little bit better, but you have to buy Rays from their website because I haven't seen it at GNC in a while. So out of Rad, I'm going to give it, I don't know, I'm going to give it like dollar store gummy worm. Yeah, we're sticking with the gummy worm aspect. Like, it's it's not even a brand. It's not like Haribo or anything like that. It's just, like, it's probably called, like, David's Gummy Worms out of Rad. Yeah. <laughs>